Welcome to this episode of Monday Morning Joe. I'm Dr. Mark Gomez. Monday Morning Joe is a quick hitting coffee talk style four episode series on what you need to know about multi-cancer early detection or MSED tests. The goal of this segment is to provide you with a better understanding of what MSED tests are and how they can complement guideline recommended cancer screening modalities. Before we begin, please remember to subscribe to the Exchange CME YouTube channel and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss new episodes in this series. Okay, let's get started. Let's chat about what MSED tests are and how they can complement current cancer screening strategies. As a reminder, the current USPSTF recommendations for screening asymptomatic patients include breast, cervical, colorectal, lung, and prostate. And there have been clear successes due to guideline recommended screening. Since its peak in 1989, screening has resulted in a 20% decrease in overall mortality from breast cancer. Early diagnosis has reduced lung cancer mortality rates at 10 years by 39% when compared to no intervention. However, there are limitations to current screening modalities. Nearly 60% of cancer-related deaths result from cancers that do not have USPSTF guideline-recommended screenings. Current screening modalities are one organ at a time. And 68% of cancers found in participants in the National Lung Screening Trial were not lung cancer. Cell-free DNA has become the basis for new blood-based cancer screening modalities. Why? Cellular material, including cell-free DNA and proteins, is released into the bloodstream via apoptosis, necrosis, and secretion. Many types of cell-free DNA anomalies can be measured and characterized in assays, including copy number alterations, exosomal DNA, point mutations, rearrangements, and methylation changes. DNA methylation can be used as a tumor biomarker. Cancers associated with epigenetic changes that can change DNA methylation patterns. This can result in tumorigenesis or progression. It can also be identified and characterized via next generation sequencing plus machine-based learning. The methylation pattern of cancer cells are different than that of healthy cells. So methylation patterns can be used to identify cancer cells in their tissue of origin based on methylation fingerprints. What do MSED tests and methylated cell-free DNA have to do with each other? Well, MSED tests analyze methylated cell-free DNA in the blood using machine learning and can identify anywhere from two to more than 50 different types of cancer based on methylation and size differences between cell-free DNA in healthy cells and cell-free DNA from cancer cells. There are four cell-free DNA-based MSED tests that have received FDA breakthrough device designation. Those are CancerSeq, now known as CancerGuard, there's Oversee MCDBT, there's CanScan, and then there's the Gallery Test, which is the only commercially available MSED test available under a CLIA waiver. Now, let's chat about what distinguishes MSED testing, genetic testing, and tumor profiling from each other. MSED testing is screening for multiple cancers at one time, whereas genetic testing is risk calculation. Tumor genetic profiling is genomic analysis of tumor cell mutations in order to guide treatment. Modeling data demonstrates the potential benefits of adding MSED testing to routine cancer screening. This can result in as many as three times as many cancers diagnosed as routine screening alone. It can result in as many as 17% fewer cancer deaths per year when modeled. And lastly, it's modeled to reduce the cost per cancer found from $89,000 to $7,000. So here are some key take-home points. There are significant limitations to current cancer screening paradigms. Changes in typical methylation patterns of cell-free DNA can be identified and characterized via next-generation sequencing and machine-based learning. 
Currently, there is one commercially available test in the U.S. that analyzes cell-free DNA methylation patterns. Using a blood-based multi-cancer test has the potential to increase the number of cancers found as compared to routine screening and possibly reduce cancer-associated mortality due to earlier detection. Thank you for joining me today. As discussed earlier, please check back for new episodes on the Exchange CME YouTube page. Clinicians, nurses, and pharmacists can also visit exchangecme.com for free access to CME in a variety of therapeutic areas. Thanks again. We'll see you on the next episode of Monday Morning Joe, where I will view the data from the clinical trials of MSED testing.